Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, today we are going to be ranking the Batman Arkham games from worst to best. Now, I'm only going to be including Origins, Asylum, City, and Night. Um, I will not be including uh, the Blackgate Deluxe version of Arkham Origins because that one, in my opinion, doesn't really count. And if you want my honest opinion on it, I thought the gameplay was really dumb. The story itself I did, I was kind of interested in, I'm not going to lie. Um, but overall though, that game was pretty bad. So, again, that's not going to be included in this. I'm only going to be talking about Ar Arkham Origins, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. I'm not going to be including like any movies or other video games that this series kind of like convolutes with. Well, I shouldn't say convolutes that are connected with. Um, so yeah, here we go. So, I'm going to be starting off with Batman Arkham Asylum here. Now, I know that there are some people that think Batman Arkham Asylum was really bad. And I wouldn't say it was really bad, but, oh man... There was just something about Batman Arkham Asylum that just did not feel like it was special. It just kind of felt like like some of those like boring stuff where it's like, oh boy, the villains are working together again. Like that sort of stuff. Um, but overall though, the gameplay... I'm not gonna lie, it it was it was pretty good in my opinion. So yeah, um, Arkham Asylum is number one on this list, meaning that it's the worst in my opinion. Now, um, the next one, Batman Arkham. Knight. Now, Batman Arkham Knight, I thought in my opinion was really good. The gameplay especially. That the gameplay was like, whoa, this is amazing sort of shit. So oh man. Um the stuff I didn't like about Batman Arkham Knight. I did not like the way how the main story mode ended. With Bruce killing himself, so to speak. Well, people say that he didn't commit suicide, that he faked his death. But there are some people that did say that he did actually, like, kill himself. Again. <laughs> The, this was confirmed to be the final Arkham game, but yet they left a cliffhanger in there. I'm like, oh shit, what's gonna happen now? Like, who is that? Like, like that. That's what I didn't like. That's the one thing I did not like in Batman: Arkham Knight. There were some other stuff too that I didn't like. And, no, I'm not going to be talking about the whole Joker, cont like, the Joker contaminating that, that, that stuff with all the Jokers. I'm not going to be talking about that because that, in my opinion, I don't know what to think of that, to be honest. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like that. Um, me, I... I wouldn't say I didn't like it. I, I just I just felt that that was just an odd way to go. Um, uh, but yeah, man. Um, 
Oh, we all talk about that Deathstroke side mission. Um, when you defuse the bombs and then you face off against Deathstroke, it's not in that one-on-one -on -one fight that we see in Batman Arkham Origins, which I will actually be talking about in a little bit. But this fight, I mean, I was just very disappointed with the fight the Batman vs. Deathstroke fight in Arkham Knight because just them fighting in tanks and then Deathstroke coming out like planning an attack but then Batman like stopped him and then right when they got their hands on each other like fist to fist Batman like tackled him on the ground he ejected out of his Batmobile just tackled Deathstroke on the ground just boom one punch that's it we're only gonna get the fight where like yeah you fight him in a tank like i didn't like that like it would have been so much better if they were fighting like fist to fist that would have been so much better so yeah um arkham knight is the second worst now, next up, Batman Arkham Origins. I actually really like Batman Arkham Origins, and, um, literally funny story, um, I was actually just playing, like, Batman Arkham Origins, the main story mode, uh, just because I, I just kind of felt like playing it again, so I was like, why not? So I actually played it, and yeah i had a good time playing it so arkham origins oh man this is my my second favorite okay because i was really interested in arkham origins the one thing that really well two things actually that really disappointed me were the fact that Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill were not going to be voicing um, the characters that they were voicing in Asylum, City and Night, which Kevin Conroy voices Batman and Mark Hamill voices Joker in those three games. But in this one, it was different people, which I didn't like like it would I really would have liked it if it was Kevin Conroy voicing Batman and then Mark Hamill voicing Joker I would have really liked that I really would have and then something else we all talk about um like I was just talking about like a, a minute ago um how the boss fight with Deathstroke in Arkham Knight is in tanks. It's not fist to fist. The reason why I said it would have been better is because, like, fist to fist instead of, like, fighting in tanks is because the boss fight between Deathstroke and Arkham Origins is so good. Like, it is so much fun. The boss fight is so much fun, and it gets you, like, in your seat as you're playing the boss fight, because it's like, oh, shit, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to mess up, like, it got, like, your, your vibes going, like, I got good vibes playing that game, and doing that boss fight, because that boss fight was so fun, like, I was literally... Like, oh, because I was like, man, when I first finished the boss fight, um, back in Arkham Origins, when I was, when I finished up my boss fight with Deathstroke, um, I was just saying to myself, man, oh my God, imagine if we got this in Arkham Knight because of like the new gameplay and shit like that because the gameplay in Arkham Knight was really good I will not lie about that 
but it's just again like I'm I know I'm going all over the place with this um but yeah man just bottom line Arkham Origins is my second favorite so that's like my number three basically now the final Arkham game that we got to talk about on here. Uh, well, actually, before we do that, one more thing I do want to mention about Arkham Origins. Um, I did not like the way how two certain characters, um, because the assassins that Joker hires in Arkham Origins to take you out, Two of them, you don't fight in the story mode. You fight them in separate side missions, which I found very stupid. Because it's like, come on, like, let us fight them in the main story mode. Like, it would be so much fun to fight them in the main story mode. Like, come on. Like, that's how I was like. So I found that to be very, like, very disappointing. Um, but overall, Arkham Origins was really good. Now, my favorite Batman Arkham game. Oh my god. Batman Arkham City. Batman Arkham City, to me, is by far the best Batman Arkham game ever. And I say that with all heart honesty. It was literally the greatest Arkham game ever, in my opinion. Now, the reason why I say that is because, oh man, just... When, when Joker um, gets sick in Arkham City, you have to care for him, so to speak. And you have to, like get this cure in order to help him and in order to help yourself because earlier like well not earlier i'm sorry later on in the game um you get kidnapped by joker and literally he infects you with his blood and oh my god there were a couple plot twists in this game that I actually did not see coming. <laughs> um, oh man. First off, before I get into that, let me just say this is one of the things I didn't like, and this is like only a minor thing that I didn't like, because literally the game was that good, where like I loved literally everything about it, except for like this one teeny tiny little thing about it. Which is those, um, the demon trials, when, uh, you go and try to find Ra's al Ghul and collect his blood. When you do the trials, the trials, they, they, the trials that you take in, in the game, in this game, before you, like, meet with Ra's al Ghul and you get in this boss fight with him, are stupid like it was actually really stupid like the way how these trials were um but that's like the only thing that i have to complain about the game overall though i thought the game was so fucking good uh <laughs> um oh so overall um what i was gonna say um Okay, so, as you're, like, trying to care for the Joker, um, you have to get this cure in order to cure yourself and cure the Joker, because he gets sick, um, by this blood, because when you fight him in Arkham Asylum in that boss fight, the side effects of the Titan that he took, um, starts to, like, get a hold of him and starts to like fuck him up to where it's where he's just dying so man so you have to go find this cure you make a deal with mr freeze 
Um, and oh my god, one of the best things about this game was the boss fight with Mr. Freeze. The boss fight with Mr. Freeze literally was like the best boss fight out of the whole game. Like, it really was. Like, I remember um, many years ago when I first got Batman Arkham City, um, where I finished up the boss with Mr. Freeze, but I, was, but I wanted to do it again. So I actually um, reloaded the last checkpoint, and I actually replayed um, the boss fight with Mr. Freeze because it was so fun. Like, it really was. And it still is fun to this day because there are times when I do go back and play some of my Arkham games. And Arkham City is one of them, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh. But then we gotta talk about something else here. So, sometime after the boss fight, you go find Joker. He's already taken the cure. And I actually thought he did actually take the cure. But then sometime later, on near the end of the game, um, Talia is held hostage by Joker, right? So Joker kills Talia, and... Well, no, not Joker kills Talia, I'm sorry. Talia kills Joker, and... Oh man, what happens after that? Batman's kind of recollecting the night. And it turns out Batman realizes something. I didn't realize it at first. Um, but then <laughs> but then Talia gets shot and I'm like, oh, what? And then I hear laughter. And so I'm thinking, holy crap, there's two Jokers. And then sure enough, there are. And that was actually something that blew me away. Like, I never saw that coming. Like, I was just, like, speechless the whole time. And then Talia dying in Bruce's arms. Like, I was speechless the whole time. And so then I was kind of saying, wait, 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 hold on. So who's, who's the, the Joker that looks healthy that was pretending to be the real Joker? And then sure enough, it was, it was revealed like a few, like two seconds later to be Clayface. And so I was like, okay, okay, I get it now. So then I understood everything like, okay, so Joker really didn't take the cure. He just made it look like he did. And so, yeah, but man, like I didn't see that coming. Oh my god. And then... Oh man. And then later on after you defeat Clayface. Um... Oh man. So Joker comes down, right? And... You take the cure. But then, like, there's an explosion and all that. Batman's knocked out. He's completely healthy because he drank the cure first. Um, so then Joker's asking for the cure, right? And then, next thing you know, Joker comes up from behind, stabs Batman in the shoulder. Then Batman drops the cure and it shatters. And as I'm seeing this, I'm like, oh shit, Joker's gonna die. And the next thing you know, Batman and Joker are talking for a minute. And then next thing you know, Joker dies. Which was like, whoa. Because, like, <laughs> man, Joker dying was actually something. Again, this was another thing. Like, I didn't see that coming. Like, I was speechless when Joker died. Like, I didn't know what to say, like, what to do. So then we see this cutscene, Batman's carrying Joker's dead body. Harley Quinn and, some, and a bunch of Joker's gang are watching. Catwoman's watching from above. 
Gordon arrives with GCPD and he carries Joker out, lays him up on one of the police cars, and then Batman just walks away. And Gordon's just like, Batman, what happened? And then Batman's just speechless, man, because he didn't know what to think of it. And truth be told, I didn't know what to think of it as well, because I was like, yo. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is my list. Batman Arkham Asylum was the worst. Arkham Knight was the second worst. Um, Arkham Origins was my second favorite. And then Arkham City is my all-time favorite Arkham game. So that's my list, everyone. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. But before I go, I have an announcement to make. Um, well, actually, it's not an announcement. It's a question. Do you want me to do a live stream? If you want me to do a live stream... Uh, write down in the comments below saying yes, do a live stream, or if you don't want me to do a live stream, then don't comment. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and, uh, if you know anyone that's a fan of, like, the Batman Arkham games, or is just a DC fan, you should send this video over to them. So, yeah, um, goodbye.